When I talk about the Matrix, I'm talking about the systems which have been created by society, which are deliberately designed to enslave. In the movie, the Matrix were used for our body heat, but here in, in this Matrix, we're used for our efforts and our energies. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. You can sit there and get upset about it. You can sit there and cry about it and say the system needs to change, which is what some people do, socialists, X, Y, Z. But I think that's not, I think, I know that's a waste of time, right? That's futile. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. So yes, the game is rigged. Yes, the richer are always going to get richer. Yes, the poor are always going to struggle. And that's the way the game is set up. So you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I want to play a different game because that's never going to happen. Because the people with the money are the people who have the control and they have the power. And why would they have the game set up any other way? Why would they change it? It's also the basic of economics. I think a lot of people don't understand the true basics of economics. And the basics of economics state that even giving money to the poor, it ends up back in the hands of the rich. There's no way to stop the rich getting richer. I've already explained this before. But I remember when they did the stimulus checks. And they passed out all this free money to everyone, a thousand. In England, they gave a lot more money. But in America, everyone got like $1,400 each and everyone was happy about it, saying, oh, he's giving money to the poor. Yeah, but what do those poor people spend that money on? They either, well, Amazon stock tripled because they all went to Amazon. So Jeff, Be well. Jeff Bezos got richer, yeah. right? But the fact is that there's less companies than there are people. All those $1,400 checks amongst all those people at the bottom ended up getting, ended up in the hands of a few companies and the rich got richer and you can't stop it. Mm. doesn't matter if those people invested their money. doesn't matter if they bought stocks. doesn't matter if they bought crypto. doesn't matter if they bought a house, whatever. The people who have the assets and have the companies and have the control are always going to end up getting control of the currency and they're always going to be richer. So that's yeah. kind of how it works. And it's getting worse and worse. Yeah. And that's, and that's another thing about opportunities, right? Because you have to be positioned to take advantage of opportunity. It's like in chess, they say uh, good moves come from good positions. It's true. You can't find a good move from a terrible position, right? If you're sitting at home with no money, it's hard to invest in Bitcoin at a dollar. It doesn't matter what it goes to, right? You gotta be in a good position to take advantage of things. So you've always gotta be in a position where you have a good network, you have good information, you have some kind of liquid money, you have the ability to survive without that money, you can take a risk. Like it's hard to set yourself up. I'm in a position now where I'm I'm in the NBA. I'm, I'm an NBA player, I can never go broke again. So it doesn't matter, right? Once you're in the NBA, you can I can throw a million dollars or something. It doesn't matter if it works or not. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. And that's why it's so much easier. They always say the first million is the hardest, and they're completely right. Once you get to a certain point, you can just you can gamble to a degree, yeah. right? I always knew that the Matrix existed, and I always knew that the traditional systems... I just knew. Even, even when I was going to school, and they were sitting there going, you're not going to get a good job if you don't get good grades. I was the one sitting there going, you're a liar. Shut up. I just knew the teacher was lying. I knew school was... I knew college was bull. I knew university was a lie. I always knew it was a trick and a con. I didn't truly understand things to the level I understand them now. But I had an intrinsic understanding, and I think everybody does. If you're if you're at a gas station and it's three in the morning and, and a Lambo pulls up and a guy gets out of it, you're thinking criminal, drug dealer, gangster. You're not thinking, ah, he has a uni degree. Because you could you know, you're not gonna think that. So when you see money, people don't even associate the money they see with university. But then they go, I want to make money so I'm going to university. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. So I think everybody knows that the system and the path they lay out for you is not a, a path that's going to lead to where you want to be. And I didn't know what the other path was, but that intrinsic distrust for the system and that distrust for the things they wanted me to do made me search for other avenues. And then I found them, right? And if you speak to the people who are richest, if you speak to the people you know, this is for everyone at home as well, if you speak to the people you know who have the most money and go up to them and say, hey, what made you rich? None of them say school. Do any of them <laughs> say school made me rich? I, I got an A in GCSE. Like, who gives a shit? It's, it's bullshit, right? It's all indoctrination. So I, I knew it was indoctrination. And for that reason, I was always searching. And if you're searching, you're going to find. They teach you things that the problem is as well, it's difficult. Because the way that humans work and the way that we are, we've evolved as a species is that we don't really learn lessons unless they're learned the hard way. I believe that unless a lesson has taught the hard way, you're not going to learn it. You can have so many near misses and people won't learn their lesson. Bro, you must know a guy who goes out there, nearly crashes his car, nearly crashes his car, nearly crashes his car, doesn't slow his down till he wrecks it. Like This is how people are, right? So you need that pain for the lesson to sting enough to really genuinely go inside of your mind. And it's the same with everything. It's the same with driving a car or business. Truthfully, if you want to learn a lesson about business, you're going to have to suffer at some point, right? So we always say that most people are not successful with their first companies, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I get that. The truth is there's a lot of people who make a lot of money with their first company, but they just skip 
act an idiot, and it all blows up in their face. And that's the, and that's how you get the discipline on your fourth company that when you have three million in the bank, you just leave it there. You know, it's and don't and don't be done with it. So you need to you need to go through some pain. You need to experience some negative things. You need to have to a degree some trauma to really even learn any lessons. So, yeah, business studies. You're right. The book. That's, that's not going to teach you anything about business. You need to get out there on the streets. You need to you need to make mistakes. You need to suffer. You need to have the tax man knocking at your door. You got to deal with all that stuff so that you make sure it doesn't happen again. I really think that, that humans are stupid enough to only learn the hard way. That's kind of how it works. When I was broke, I knew exactly how much money I had. I had 117 pounds in the Nat West, and that was it. I'm poor, rent paid. I ain't got nothing else. When I was broke, I knew exactly how much I had. But now I'm at a point where it gets really difficult to truly measure how much money I have because you have cash. Okay, that's easy. I have some crypto, which is constantly fluctuating. And then you have assets and the price of the assets is constantly fluctuating. And then I have companies and income streams, which need to be valued. And how do you value them, right? They can be an eight times multiplier in some circumstances and others they will be a 10 times multiplier. Uh, so it's really difficult for me to put a value on it. If, so, if you were to say to me, how much money do I have in the bank? Once, once you have a healthy respect for money, once you get past a certain amount of money, you don't need it in the bank. Like there's, there's no point in me having 50 M liquid in the bank. Why? What, well, what am I going to buy? You know, you're like, as long as you have whatever you have in the bank to, to run around the world with, you have enough. So you try and put that money to use, right? You buy assets, X, Y, Z. So it's really difficult. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> and that's the thing about the way I talk and the things I say. Some people find it inspirational and some people are, are upset by it and, allows, and their ego prevents them from learning from it. The kind of people who are really genuinely upset by what I say are the kind of people who can't truly learn anything and become successful in life. I, I obviously know what I'm talking about to some degree, right? So if, if, if Mike Tyson walks in here and tells you he's going to teach you how to box and says, you can't fight, you're a pussy. If that upsets you, then you can't learn, right? It's Mike Tyson. Just shut up and listen. <laughs> if, if, if someone Richard and me comes along and says, Andrew, you don't know shit. you're a dumb ass and you're a brokey. I'm going to sit there and go, okay, maybe I'm a brokey. Elon, tell me something, right? I'll listen. But if you're going to sit there and go, don't call me names and then I not listen, you're never going to get anywhere, right? You don't become, you don't become the master unless you're very, very good at being a student. And I've always been very, very good at knowing when to shut up. I am absolutely and utterly a believer in hard work. I'm a proponent of hard work. I have all this money and all I do is work. My entire life is work. Once you get to a certain level of incomes and wealth, everything becomes free. And that's what I'm like now. I don't know the price of anything I eat or buy. If it's not a house or a car, even most supercars, G. I don't even know. This podcast is work. I'm getting the car and going to another meeting. Work. People who are in charge of the world don't care about anyone but themselves. They don't care about you, whether you're gay or straight. They're not interested. What they're interested in doing is controlling the minds of people and affecting the way people operate in a way which is beneficial to them. And, and life really doesn't have to be that complicated. When you see somebody that has something you want, you just got to try and work out how they got it. And that's the missing part. Most people see people with things they want and they don't do the, the second half. They don't try and work out how they got that thing. Oh, my man has a Ferrari. Okay. I wish I had a Ferrari. Okay. They don't sit there and go for an hour. How did he get a Ferrari? It doesn't cross that. That part is the part they don't want to do, right? They just go, oh, he has a Ferrari. Wish I had a Ferrari. And they go back to TV. And that's why they lose. <laughs>